Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this hyperelastic material using neo Neookian material model. So, now we have taken a plate with the hole. The plate has a rectangle shape of 10 meter length and 5 meter width. It has a thickness of 1 meter and hole radius is 1 meter. In neo Euclidean model, we have to specify the constant in code aster. We have to specify only one material constant, one that is C10. Remaining are 0. And Poisson ratio, we have to specify as 0 0.49. And boundary condition, the left side I am fixing it, and here I am applying a displacement of 5 meter. Now we will solve this problem using Salamac. First, we will model it geometry. I am going to create a plate using a box construction 10 meter length 5 meter height and 1 meter thickness so this is my plate just apply and close then I just want to make a cylinder 0 Z direction the cylinder radius is 1 meter radius is 1 meter and the height also 1 meter here it is creating just apply and close now what we want to do is we have to translate we have to translate the cylinder to the center select the cylinder one operation transformation translation in x direction 5 y direction 2.5 just apply and close now we just want to cut this cylinder from the plate Go to operation boolean there is option called cut select this box tool object trans translation just apply and close now we will save this file go to file save as pictures code aster this one is a new icon i'm just saving here now we have created the model then we will create a groups to apply the boundary conditions here you can see left side we have to fix it right side we have to apply the displacement of 5 meter now select this cut one is the final object go to groups create groups face group left side face is fixed I'm just naming as fix just apply right side face just add it this one is displacement I'm just naming as disp just apply and close now we have created the groups now we will go for mesh module to create the mesh mesh select this cut one go to mesh create mesh choose a netgen 1d 2d 3d algorithm to create the tet mesh i'm using a element size of 0.3 meter just save ok apply and close right click this mesh one and compute it now we have created the mesh this mesh is enough to us if you want to make finer we can make it I'm just keeping this for as a demo case so left side we have to fix it here here you can see and right side we have to apply the load now just change this into aster study to create the setup just save ok right click add a stage read mesh mesh one MED format just apply and ok and go here there is option called assign a finite element just edit everywhere mechanic 3d just ok just apply and ok it now we have defined the model also now we will move into define a material <coughs> here there is an option called Elas Hyper Edit. So now we have to specify the constant. The Poisson ratio is 0 0.49 and C10. C10 is 2.398 Pascal. 2.398 
C10 and remaining are all 0 just make everything 0 and density also you can make it 0 I'm just specifying some density value but it will not take this density value to solve this case just save ok just apply it save ok now I have defined the material now we need to assign the material to the model edit everywhere this is the material just apply it and ok it now we have assigned the material now we have to create the functions load multiplication function first use the define function to create the load multiplication function load f coordinate edit when time is 0 the load is 0 and when the time is 1 the load also 1 so this is the way I am going to apply the load load gradually just this one is the time just apply and ok now we will define a time period to solve there is option called defill list real is 0 edit until 1 this pass to step length is 0.1 there are 10 iteration it will take just save ok just apply and ok it and this time time period will take it by auto method I'm taking auto method edit time step list is list here <laughs> save ok just apply and ok now we have defined all now we'll go for BC and load to apply the boundary conditions Assign a mechanical load, just edit. So, one side here we have to fix it. Let's go to rope of element, edit, fix, save OK, blockage, displacement, just OK, just apply and OK. This is I'm just naming as BC, rename bc now we'll go for load degree enforce degree of freedom edit 5 the group of element is displacement just save ok just again save ok just apply and ok load 0 now we'll define the solver to solve this case. Go to analysis. There is option called static nonlinear. Edit list tr. Just save OK. Here there is option called load. Add two options. First one you edit it. First one is the BC. Save OK. Second one you make it load zero. Make it load multiplication function. Just save OK. Here then there is option called comportment. Here we have to choose the material relation and deformation. Relation is the hyperelastic relation, elas hyper. Here we have to capture the large displacement as well as the rotation. For that we have to choose ground GDP. Just save OK. Now just apply it. Save OK. Now we have defined the solver. Now we'll Calculate stress and strain and one vs stress everything from the solver. Use option called CalcChamp. First one is to calculate directional stress. I'm going to choose sigma element. First we have to calculate element, then we have to calculate nodes. Similarly for deformation, first we have to calculate epsilon element second epsilon node this is nothing but EPSI is strain similarly here SIEQ that means equivalent stress in element equivalent stress in node now it is done just apply it use there is an option called reuse the input just apply 
save ok the same name i have used now we will save this file using output go here set output results now we have to navigate the file where we have to save it here i'm just naming as result.rmed just save it results edit mesh result here we have to choose call champ similarly just go down here there is an option called tout champ make it yes just save ok just apply we have to switch on this format just apply save ok now we have created the complete setup now we will solve the setup before creating before running the case we have to save this file I am just increasing the memory make this into 5 seconds then click this plus button then run it if any error comes it will show in the message file now the input file is readed it will update every 5 seconds after 5 seconds it will update now now see it has calculated now it is calculating 9th iteration yes now it is solved without any error now we will go for post processing using paravis paravis right click just open it new okm result just apply it now displacement this one is the displacement value initially it will show 0 0 everything so we have to read all the data now it is got similarly go to strain value also this also you check it this one is the strain the maximum strain is in the x direction is 1.3 This one is the one V stress. The maximum stress in the new Ukian model is 22 here. You can see it's coming very uh, closer to the hole. And directional stress also we can check. Here the sigma axis coming is 23. Now we can change this plot color using this options. edit 12 make it 12 so this one is the one v stress now we'll plot stress strain curve using a filter search there is option called plot over a time just type plot you'll get this plot data over a time just enter it now we have to choose the node i'm just selecting this selection selection tool choose any any one of the node, I just selected some 5 nodes just apply it now just scroll down here go to data here there is an option called only choose the maximum data it is showing you 4 datas you have to untick all and choose only the displacement x and go here there is option called fit screen now you can see it here when time is 0 the displacement is 0 when the time is 1 we have applied uh, the maximum displacement of 5 meter now we will plot stress strain curve in x axis it has to be a strain choose the strain value of EPSI no 0 is nothing but EXX similarly here you choose it in y direction choose sigma 1 v sisters so i'm just choosing a 1 v sisters so this one is the stress strain curve for this rubber hyperelastic material now we can give the name for this chart also i'm just giving a name of stress versus strain 
so now we have completed this tutorial thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you